Chris Busher or Alexi outside on the restart. The green flag is in the air. And we're underway at Dover. Denny Hamlin spins the tires down on the bottom of the racetrack. He'll have to fall himself in line in third as he's side-by-side -side with Larson, who is on the outside of him. Elliott got the jump up to second, and Chris Busher leads him down the back stretch into turn three. Busher gaps Chase Elliott by a couple car lengths through turns three and four, and Chris Busher from the pole will lead lap one. We are Monday racing in the NASCAR Cup Series. 37 to go in stage one. J good jump on the outside lane by Kyle Larson. Quickly gets down in front of Chase Elliott into turns one and two. A fight for the bottom for right now with all the rubber washed off the racetrack as it is primarily going to be one groove if I had to imagine for the rest of stage one. And the groove will widen out as the rubber continues to get laid down throughout the course of today's race. Denny Hamlin getting a little bit of momentum off the outside to make a pass on William Byron for fourth. Kyle Busch gets shuffled up a lane now in turns three and four as well as Eric Almirola looks to make a pass on him. And we have a car in the wall, Austin Sindrick, and that will bring out a caution. And it looks like the 38 car was also collected of Todd Gilliland. Today, Denny Hamlin will win stage one at Dover. Chase Elliott second, Christopher Bell third. Uh, Ross Chastain fourth. Mark Trix Jr. will round out the top five. Which is off of pit road with a really good stop, and it's looking like he is going to win the race off of pit road with ease. Oh, and a tire comes off of Hamlin's race car as he exits pit road. They did not get the left rear lug nut secured. It rolls off of Hamlin's race car as he crossed the commitment line. And that is a costly penalty for Denny Hamlin. And it's actually the left front, not the left rear. I believe it is Denny Hamlin's. It looked like it, yep, it is Denny Hamlin as they have the close-up shot. More pit road blunders for Denny Hamlin this season, and this time it was not his fault. One car is blowing smoke and has spun Kyle Larson into the inside wall off of turn four. Another driver who is in the top five. That has had some sort of an issue, and it looks like he has a flat right front tire. Uh, right rear is also flat, but I think maybe the right front was flat because of the spin, and he flat spotted it. The right rear is down to the rim. Larson lost control in the middle of turns three and four, slid up the racetrack, saved it from hitting the outside wall, and I think he may have actually saved it from hitting the inside wall as well, but he definitely flat spotted both of his right side tires. And both tires seem to have blown after he had locked it down. He did back it into the outside or the inside wall just a tad. Trex first car on the bottom, Justin Haley on the outside. He is on two tires because he only took right sides during the caution pit stop. Lap 44 of 130 in the stage, so a little over 90 laps to go yet in stage two. Justin Haley got a great launch on the restart ahead of Truex, barely cleared him into turn three for second place. And we'll see if he can keep pace with a fellow Chevy out in front of Ross Chastain. Jockeying for position going on in the middle of the pack. Kevin Harvick to the outside of the 17 to Chris Buescher in the middle of turns one and through that he feels like he's got a tire potentially going. Oh, trouble! Denny Hamlin has crashed off of turn four. And there's another car involved as well. Cody Ware. Hamlin and Ware have crashed off of turn four with nine laps to go in stage two. Well, Cody Ware had gotten into the outside wall, losing control off of turn four. Denny Hamlin tried to miss him to the inside on the front straightaway and Ware back down the racetrack right in to the right side door of Denny Hamlin's race car, knocking Hamlin into the inside wall with the back of his race car as well. Hamlin tried to gas it up to get by him and just missed him. Blaney looking for his fourth stage win of the year. Green flag back in the air. Equal between the 21 and the 12. Kyle Busch trying to go to the third lane. Three wide on the outside to get around Harrison Burton. Blaney leads off turn two and Bush is in second on the outside. Clary Martin Shirk Jr. Two laps to try and get around Ryan Blaney for the stage win. He's got about 45 to 50 lap fresher tires. Blaney clear off turn four. Bush with a big run. Elliott almost in the wall and had to lift off turn four. Loses multiple positions in the back half of the top ten. Eric Jones and Chris Bush are going to get around. Blaney has a lap and a half to hold on now as he still leads off turn two. Bush is on the back bumper of the 12 car. Truex is right there as well. Bush going to the middle of the upper groove. Truex overdrives three and four. He slips up the track. Bowman is up to third. Final lap of stage two. It's all between Bush and Blaney now as they enter turn one. 
Bush to the middle to upper groove, trying to get the run off the X of the corner. Blaney now runs up to try and block the 18 of Bush. Blaney maintains his gap down the back straightaway. One last chance for Kyle Bush to try to get to the 12 of Ryan Blaney. He goes to the outside. He shakes. He wiggles up the track. And Ryan Blaney will win stage number two, hanging on on old tires. Kyle Bush is second. Caution is out while Bush and Bowman are on pit road. Flag back in the air. Chastain on the outside. Elliott got a great launch again on the bottom, like he did earlier with Larson. In the middle of turns one and two, they are side by side. Chastain trying to hold the nine of Elliott down on the bottom. Elliott almost clear off of turn number two. Chastain side drafts him on the back stretch and into three they go still two by two. Stenhouse still battling Truex side by side for third as well. The nine of Elliott holding strong on the bottom. Chastain on the outside. Chastain not clear yet into turn number one. Elliott still trying to fight and hold on the bottom lane as Chastain is up high. Door to door off of turn two. Contact on the back stretch. Chastain runs into the side of nine of Chase Elliott. And they're still side by side even after the contact. What a battle for the lead between the one of Chastain and the nine of Chase Elliott with 60, 60 laps to go. Chastain a little bit wider this time in the middle of turns one and two. That's going to give him the runoff. Elliott not clear yet. Nearly making contact again off turn two. These guys are on the edge of control as the fans have to be on the edge of their seat. Trouble on the back stretch. We have a caution. Tyler Reddick has gone around hard into the wall with the front of his race car and has bashed the splitter. And it doesn't look like anybody else had contact in the aftermath of Reddick's spin. Chastain did not get a great launch as Elliott did on the bottom again. And Chase Elliott is clear off of turn two. Stenhouse to the inside of Ross Chastain for second place now as Truex did not take off well in fourth. Stenhouse drives it in deep. He runs the one car up the track. The one wiggles a little bit as they nearly make contact. This is going to allow Chase Elliott to pull away a little bit more on the front straightaway. Looking for a second career win at Dover. He was my win pick this weekend. Came in as the second best odds according to Vegas. Is the only Hendrick Chevrolet without a win this year. He is the points leader. He's been the most consistent driver, but now he will lock himself for sure into the playoffs. Chase Elliott is a winner at Dover, and we have a caution on the final lap. Martin Truex Jr. has blown a tire. So Chase Elliott wins. A caution came out off turn four as Martin Truex Jr. got into the wall while running in fourth place. So Truex... Looked like off of turn two, Chastain got into the back of the 19, or sorry, the uh, one of Chastain pulled over the block on Truex off turn two. Truex got into the back of the one and then lost control on the back straightaway after the contact. And Martin Tricks Jr. ended up in the inside retaining wall going into turn three.